Hey everyone, so I'm back in my deep dark basement thinking about summary and evaluation in week nine. So let's get started. Okay, uh, this whole summary and evaluation thing. You're probably asking yourself, Brian, why, why are we doing this? Uh, and the answer to that question is uh, because it's good practice to start things early and to get as much work in the tank as you can, more or less, as a way to push your essay as far forward as you can. So um, let me tell you why this matters. So I'm down here in my basement, basically packing for an upcoming trip that's uh, coming up. And truthfully, I'm not sure why, <laughs> I'm not sure why the trip is happening, but it is, but it involves me moving across the country or going across the country uh, to visit some family and friends by car. Probably not the best idea I've ever had, but I'm down here in my basement looking at all the stuff that I could potentially take with me. As you can see, it's a considerable amount of stuff. And so you have to think about it this way, like uh, you have to think about it like all this stuff that is potentially on the desk or all things that I could potentially choose from in terms of putting a paper together. We might think of this as the internet or research databases or things like that that would allow us um, to answer our question no matter what it is. Now, the reason why summary and evaluation is, as I mentioned, we're pushing toward answering our question. So as we look at all this stuff on the desk, I mean, there's a whole bunch of things I could choose to take on this trip. Um, but I'm going to focus in on just the absolute things that I need in moving forward. Now, if this were all the evidence that I would need to answer my question about what I would need for a trip, for instance, um, it would take me, you know, 25, 30 pages to write that particular uh, essay. But that's not what I want. I want to focus in. So I ask a narrow question and then I choose evidence that's going to attempt to answer that question. So. One of the things that we used within this particular workshop was the uh, American piece. Uh, what, it, what it means to be American, the journey from other to us, it's a pretty good piece. Um, maybe it's that actual essay is represented in this particular game. Um, so I'm going to write about this. I'm going to create a summary. And um, that summary is going to start with the author's name and with the citation. And then I'm going to have an evaluation paragraph. And that evaluation paragraph starts with like a signal phrase, like, hey, according to so-and-so, and then there's a great quotation in the middle, and then there's a citation at the end, quote sandwich. Um, so summary and evaluation on this one particular thing. Not exactly, but you get what I'm saying. Not about all this, just about this. Now, uh, another thing that you can be doing for this assignment is you need to go out to the research databases and find a source um, from something like EBSCOhost or JSTOR or Gale or some source along those lines. It's sponsored by FCC that's an academic database. So maybe I do some searching based on my question and I find this source, this source. And I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did before. So it's on my question and I'm going to produce uh, a summary about this particular thing and then I'm going to create another evaluation paragraph where a quotation is in the middle of that paragraph, introduced with a signal phrase, um, and then use a citation at the very end. So you're doing this summary and evaluation for two particular articles, one that we look at together as a class, and another one that you find on your own in the FCC database area. Say so this is the FCC database area, um, and this is just the rest of the internet. So long story short, summary and evaluation, Sorry, long story short, summary and evaluation is really a targeted assignment that allows you to look at two sources early in your process. So if you have any questions or concerns about how this assignment works, you should totally, totally ask me about it um, because, yeah, I'm the guy. So thanks for watching this video, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.